Well, hello, and, um, well, let me get off here first. Hello, and welcome back to the west end of the Piccadilly line. Making sure I don't fall down the stairs. This is uh, 21 sidings at Heathrow Terminal 5, so that's the west end of the Pick line. And this is a 1973 tube train. Deep level tube stock, if you want to be pedantic about it. So, I'm going to take you with me. I don't think I've done a T5 for a while, so we'll do T5 probably as far as Earl's Court. Uh, the reason it's not going to be a long video is I've got new microphones, as you can see. I've splashed out. Hopefully these work well, because they wasn't cheap. So it's the first time I've used them. But more importantly, to attach them to my GoPro, I need to use the GoPro housing, which causes the GoPro to overheat. So that's the main reason it's not going to be a particularly long video. Well. It'll probably be a half hour, 40 minutes, something like that, if all goes well. But yeah, you can now sit back, relax. I think I've said this before, let the train take the strain and uh, I'll do all the work. And we'll get you on the other end. So I'm actually going to stick you in a different window. See if you get a slightly different view, you might be able to see the monitors better. Ooh, now I'm using the wireless mic. So let me get myself sorted out and we'll find you a nice little home. And I'll tell you what, let's put you here. How's that? Let me just see if you can see what's going on. I'm just turning you slightly to one side. You might get a better view of the um, platforms. Let me put my bag on there. Right. Uh, don't know what's going on there. Oh, where are we going? Cop Fosters, we're not stopping at Turnham Green, and we're at Terminal 5. I think we're actually missing a train. Um, because there wasn't one on the eastbound platform when I came in. So, I expect it to be a little bit busy, so we'll see. And we'll see how it comes out with you in that window. I do need to double check, actually, that you're not going to fall out, because if you do, it's going to get smashed. So, I'm due to depart... I don't know, actually, I can't see, it's dark. Um, 13 past, I think, which gives me about seven or eight minutes. So as you see, you'll see as we come in, platform's busy. So once I've stopped and opened the doors, I'm going to go and use the facilities. Obviously, I'm not taking you in with me. And I will see you in about seven minutes. All uh, right, we are almost ready to go. Let's have a look. What time are we out of here? Oh, the clock's wrong. It says 10 seconds, so, yeah, come on, let the DVA work, there we go. Let's go. Yeah, hopefully where you're positioned, you're not in my way for being able to see everything, um, but you may well be able to see some of the mirrors and monitors better. And I say hopefully with this uh, new mic, you'll be able to hear me better. But it will be a bit of trial and error um, till we find the perfect spot and um, perfect place for this mic on, on me. The only thing with you being in the window the other side is in the outside section I won't be having the door open 
just in the off chance that you fall off there, the last thing I want you to do is fall off there. It'd be bad enough if you break, even worse if you fall onto the tracks because you're not cheap to replace. But anyway, hello. So we've just left Terminal 5. I'm heading up to Cock Fosters. So I do this on quite a few of my videos. I'll just let you know my duty today. I started at, uh, at four, four, eight or something, 10 past four at Cock Fosters in the evening, obviously, because I only do the evenings. I picked up this train down to Terminal 5. I'm going back to Cock Fosters, then down to Arnest Grove. I'm going to have a little break and then I'm going to go Arnest Grove straight west to Terminal 4 and then up to Oakwood and Stable. I have the same duty tomorrow, doing exactly the same thing, but it's about 20 minutes later. Now, there is football on at Arsenal today, so at the moment, at the time of me speaking anyway, Holloway Road is closed. I'm not sure that I'll be passing through in either direction where it's worth me filming. But, I, you know, I'm sure there'll be another day I'll be able to catch it when uh, platforms are full. Um, but obviously, should that change, you know, if it's busy, I will try and record something. But anyway, we're just coming up to Pick X Junction, where these lights are ahead. On the right-hand side in a moment, you'll see the track that comes off T4, so the T4 loop. It joins us just here on the right. I think I said in a previous video I will try to um, slow or uh, scr uh, screenshot certain parts to show you something that you don't normally see when we're driving at normal speed. Uh, I think I did it for the Old Witch when I filmed from the back of the cab and that came out quite well so it's something I'll try and do again. Terminals 2 and 3 and as you can see it's reasonably busy. I wonder if all these people realise how lucky they are to have me. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, let's stop just there. So let me see, can you see the monitors from there? Oh, they're a bit too far away still. On the GoPro I can't zoom in, so... Adjust you there a bit. Hopefully that'll be a little bit better. Right. This train is ready to depart. Please mind the closing doors. Are they all going to get on? Twenty-two sets of doors, and they all want to get on one single leaf door, as we call it. I might slow this down, this might be of interest to you, all the points. There's not too much to look at, but... Uh... Anyway, uh, Hatton Cross is next. The other reason I'm filming this bit is because today is the... 25th of September. It is currently just gone quarter past six in the evening. But winter's fast approaching, so because I do the permanent late shifts, it won't be many, many weeks before I'll only be driving in the dark. Even if I start at four o'clock, it'll be pretty much dark. So it should still be relatively light. So yeah, it's sort of, it'll be, I'm not saying it'll be the exact last video with daylight, but it'll be one of the last ones, so I thought, yeah, why not? Why not do that? I think we're in for more heavy rain tomorrow. Um, so should we get heavy rain, then I might film some of that just for, for you to see what it's like when it's heavy rain. I've only done one, one video when it was raining. But we'll play it by ear, obviously. So I still keep getting asked a couple of questions. One is about the toilet. 
quite simple. If we need the toilet, we can go. Every station's got toilets uh, because of the uh, the gate line staff. They've all got toilets, so we can stop and use any of them. We try not to do that because if you're somewhere like Green Park or Holborn, it's a long walk. But there are certain stations where there's toilets on the platform. Uh, terminals two and three, terminal five, terminal four, Acton Town on the west. Um, Wood Green on the west, we can access it from the east as well, but we'd have to just walk the length of the platform. And one or two others dotted around. So if I needed to go here, for argument's sake, I'd just ring them up and tell them I need to go. But yeah, always try not to, so that's why I always go at either end. That's another busy platform. So I don't know if I said today is a Wednesday. And I think it's busy because, like I said, I think there was at least one missing train. There should have been one at T5 on the eastbound when we came in, but there wasn't. Well, there you go, one foot in front of the other. There you go, well done. Congratulations. I should give out gold stars. So anyway, I hope you're all well. I hope you uh, have had a good week. This will come out um, on a Saturday, as usual. Uh, probably be two or three weeks. I can't remember how many videos I've already got filmed if I can find the memory card. But yes, I hope you're having a nice time. Um, by the time this comes out, I should have been to New York and back. Um, if you're interested in them, that trip, follow me, subscribe. Um, those sort of videos I'll put out on a Sunday if I've got one. And in fact, by the time this comes out, I'm probably going back to New York again. So yeah, busy, busy time for uh, the rest of this year. Two trips to New York. And I've got uh, Thailand in December and then Thailand again in end of January, beginning of February. We're just going over the top of the River Crane. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you'll know coming down this way that once we get into the tunnel, the track's quite rough, so uh, we can do 45 miles an hour. Um, I tend to do around 30, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but let's average it at 30 in this section, just so uh, everyone keeps their, uh, their false teeth in their mouth. So I hope for an uneventful day today. When we leave Hounslow West, which is the next station, I'll talk to you about a problem I had two nights ago. So like I said, today's Wednesday. I had yesterday off, which was Tuesday, but Monday night. I will talk to you about... I didn't film the problem Monday. I was doing another video Monday. Uh, those of you regular know I have trouble with technology. And uh, halfway through doing my uh, video, uh, the memory card packed up. Can't read it at all. So that was a bit of a waste. I can't pull any of the footage off or anything, but never mind. But yes, it was an interesting second half and I will talk you through that after the next station. So the track smooths out a little bit from around here. So I'm going a little bit faster, about 35. We're not bouncing around too much. Obviously, if I still was, I'd slow it back down again. Each train acts slightly different, but we are we are very full, uh, so I'd imagine that's helping as well. So slight, slight uphill gradient into uh, Hounslow West on the east. See how busy this station is. I mean, yeah, it's quite busy. The next train is five minutes behind us. There we 
they got. Everyone on. So, Monday night. My second half, or my, my second train, picked up at Angton Town, I don't know, 10 to 10, something like that in the evening, up to Rainers Lane, into the sidings. I change ends. Now, it's happened to me, this is the third time, twice this year. I look down the left hand side of my train, I can see there's a train coming down the eastbound track. If you're not familiar, Rainers Lane side is, sits in the middle, so you've got the eastbound track one side, westbound the other. I can see there's people on the track, graffiti in the rear of my train, and there's a train coming towards them. Uh, emergency call, get train stopped, get power off. Uh, there was three people, uh, they spray painted three cars of the train. It's just, I mean, you've heard me moan about this before, it's just absolutely stupid. One slip, if I hadn't have looked, they could have been under that train or on the power rail just to graffiti and then they ran off, off up the westbound track past the train that was stopped behind me up towards East Coast. It's just stupid. Um, and I know I would like to think none of you lot um, would do that but if anyone is watching this and who likes to go ground graffiti and why waste your time and money spray painting something that doesn't need, doesn't want to be spray painted because all I did was drive it empty to uh, Oakwood for it to be all cleaned off but you're risking your life uh, many years ago in my old job I worked for another train company not as a driver and there was people out uh, graffitiing not trains but uh, buildings and things on the train track in the middle of the night because there was no trains running except they didn't think about empty train movements and all three were struck and killed um, it's just not worth it. But yeah, I just thought I would uh, mention that um, little bit of excitement. Excitement's not really the word I'm looking for, but uh, we'll take it. Let me just... Okay, I've just adjusted the volume on there. I'm still getting used to it. You're not getting on, okay. Yeah, so it made for an interesting evening. So that's the second time this year it's happened to me. But could have ended very differently. So I do it out of habit now when I'm in that siding as I look down the side of the train. Most drivers don't because why would you? You're looking ahead. Um, but yeah, I always do because, like I said, it's happened before. Anyway, so we're going eastbound. You know that by now. That was Hounslow Central. This is Hounslow East on the east. Funny thing, I was down Heathrow the other day, and as I was going westbound towards Heathrow, there were some planes taking off in the direction of us, which doesn't happen too often, but there was, um, there was just, I was in the right place at the right time. There was an A380 and it was quite low as it took off and banked round in front of the train. And then a 777, it was like, you never have your camera with you. Days like that, you guarantee if I was filming today going down there, which I was, well I wasn't filming, um, there was no planes to spot. Anyway, I know you're not all plane geeks. Um, you found a door, mate? Well, I'll let you get the next one. So, yeah, they're struggling to find space now. So it is going to be very slow in town. Um, like I said, I don't, yeah, I'm not going to bother filming in town. Probably just take you to Earl's Court, uh, just to stop everything overheating. Um, but if it's busy later, maybe I'll film later 
no site. Let's see what mood I'm in. So Osterley is next. So people also often ask me, can I feel when the train's full? Well, it depends on the train. This one, I can most definitely feel. Um, I've not even got to 30 miles an hour yet. But the problem with the trains are, because they all feel so different anyway, sometimes it's hard to know whether it's because you've got a lot of passengers on or not many passengers on, or the train's just different. So I tend to drive every station according to how the train feels for that station. Because each one's different. I only just saw them on the uh, bridge there. I did wave. The horn was a the whistle was a little pathetic. This is also busy for Osterley. See, there's some Arsenal fans on the platform. It's what I might do is, yeah, take you to Will's Court, turn you off, and if I'm still busy, once the camera's turn, uh, cooled down, I might put you back on, I don't know, King's Cross to uh, Cockfosters or something like that, and uh, put a video out on a Wednesday as well, we'll see. Okay, not everyone's able to get on the train. So a bit of a run now to uh, Boston Manor. This is Old Osterley, Osterley and Spring Grove. Yes, I don't know how many more of these uh, light days I'll actually be driving trains for. Because I think it's the end of October, the clocks will change, so it'll be getting darker even earlier. Um, November, December time, it'll be dark by time I get to work at sort of four-ish, certainly by the time I pick a train up. Oh look, another train. Say hello. So 45 mile an hour is the speed limit for us on this section. That's the maximum we can do on any section. Um, from, I think it's Monday, I think Monday anyway, next week. I'm on leave anyway, so it doesn't matter to me so much. But we've got leave full timetable. That normally comes in about a week later every year and finishes Christmas Eve. Th Christmas Eve. This year it's coming in about a week earlier and finishing, I think, middle of January. So that'll be leaf full. So areas like this will be 30 miles an hour. But we'll cover that when I come back off leave we'll cover that, I'll cover it in a video, um, yeah, but just to let you know, new timetable coming out, journey is slightly extended, for lethal, we will also have a, what is known as a rat train, uh, out about, which is a three car, 73 stock train, and they kit it out, basically with some gunk they put on the track, to help with traction. Now, it's a bit stupid because we call it a rat train, but rat stands for rail adhesion a rail adhesion train. So really what we're saying is if we call it a rat train, it's a rail adhesion train train. Make sense? But yeah, we might get a glimpse of that. Well we will get a glimpse I'm sure at some point over the next two or three months. So Boston Manor. Let us have a look. We're due into Northfields at 35 past. We're 33, so that's close enough to me. It'd be nice if they put me down the local. I have gone down the local twice last week, but it was always at night and you can't see anything at night. Um, 
and I'm aware I record other stuff at night, but you've seen this during the day. So ideally, I want to cover that in the day, and then it doesn't matter if it's at night. You'll get the night view and day view. This signal's always red. Until it's not. Probably getting a slight better view there of the uh, depot, Northfields depot. And the new sidings, which are now in service. I've not been in there yet. New timetable, we will be going in and out of there, which I will film, but as I've said, it will probably be at night, so uh, not sure how much of it will come out, but it will be something different. You see it here on the right. There's three roads in there now. They used to only be one, and they never used to be this big fence. Uh, we've got the fast. Never mind. Now, I said I was going to tell you, uh, talk about two questions. I mean, I have, a, I have mentioned two questions, but one of them was not the one I was on about, uh, thinking about. Uh, the other one is I still keep getting asked about whether I'm allowed to film on here. I'll be honest, it might sound rude, I've stopped answering now. I mean, if I'm not allowed to film, I would be a bit stupid to do it and then put it all over the internet for everyone to see. So for the moment, anyway, TfL are happy. I've had some clarification on things they don't want me to show, which are pretty much the things I wasn't showing anyway. So yeah, if you do ask me that, the chances are I'm just going to ignore it. I know it sounds rude, but I put, what was it, we're in September, so the first video I put out here was back in April. You know. They would have said something by now. Anyway, I'm always moaning. Oh, you can tell I'm a train driver, I'm moaning. Come on, pick a door. We are now ready to depart, please mind closing doors. I'm just giving them that extra little bit of time to get on, which I wouldn't normally, uh, just because it it's so full. So normally if you run past a door, well, if you haven't got on an open door, it's your problem, but I know they're doing it because then you can't necessarily get on that car. So that's Northfields, South Ely. busy platform. I don't think I've been this busy in a long while in this direction anyway. And certainly out of town. I'm going to turn you slightly more this way now. Um, that's it. You just got the window wiper in the left corner there, so uh, apologies. But just to give you a better view of the platforms, I turned you that way thinking that when we're in the pipe, you can see the platforms better, but... You're not going to be with me that long. So you might as well have a look at the platforms. Acton Town will be next. Uh, we are due in there uh, in two minutes, so we are a little bit late. Um, but it's because we're very busy, uh, very heavily loaded. So today's duty is a 7 hour 58 minute duty. I know tomorrow I said I've got exactly the same duty just 20 minutes later and that's a 7 hour 50 minute duty because I've got 8 minutes left for my, uh, 8 minutes less for my break. Yeah, today I've got, what is it, an hour and an hour and nine minutes roughly. Tomorrow I'm like an hour and one minute or something. So yeah, I can definitely feel the weight on this train. 
it's only just got to 30 miles an hour now. I would feel it even more if we was on the westbound and let's say we'd just left uh, Hammersmith because once you leave Hammersmith it starts going uphill pretty quick so you don't manage to have a bit of a run up before you get there so then you really notice it. This platform to be very busy as well. And we're clearing the platform. You've got the siding there in the middle, that's 26 siding. You probably see it better from where you are this time around. I'm going to do is if the sound quality is good on this and it all works well in the cab I will actually um, move the camera around to different locations I did try a while back of putting you high up in the window so you're filming upside down um, just to see how it works obviously I can flip it around when I edit um, so we'll give that a try as well as time goes on just to give different different perspectives. That's not as busy as I thought. If there's a driver wanting to get on, then I will switch you off here. If not, I'll take you down to Earl's Court. quite a lot of people getting off. Uh, let's go. Ooh. Why do people wait the last minute to jump off? Hammersmith is next, so you know we're going to be running fast, subject to signals, through Chiswick Park, uh, Turnham Green, Ravens Court, uh, Stamford Brock and then Ravens Court Park. I don't know if that comes out on there, there's an A380 up in the sky, strangely. Can't see if it's an Emirates or a BA1. From a distance, the tails look very similar. I would say it's more likely Emirates. Yeah, it's Emirates. I've not tried Emirates yet. Uh, they're on my list of uh, airlines to try. I'm going to be trying, I think I've said before, I'm going to be trying Etihad later this year. I've never tried them and I'll be trying it in uh, economy and business class on... Now I can't remember what planes. I know that I know I'm on the A380. Um, I can't remember if it's the 777 and the Dreamliner 787. But that'll be four different videos because they're, they're all different. Uh, planes, so economy is two different planes and business class two different planes. The main reason I'll do it is two separate videos so that if you want to know what it's like to fly economy on the A380, you haven't got to watch the other plane, the 777 or whatever it is. Uh, you can just watch the A380 and vice versa. So we passed through Chiswick Park when I was rambling on like normal. We're doing about 40 miles an hour. I'm just going to leave it around 40. Turnham Green, we're just coming up to. You know we stop here after 10.30 in the evening. 
I think it's 6.30 in the morning or something, um, unless we're requested to stop at any other time. Which, we're not today. District line train there on the left. Um, I'm assuming it's going to Upminster, I didn't look. Could be barking. So yeah, we're still doing, actually it's about 39 miles an hour. It's Stamford Brook. Can't stop in this direction at Stamford Brook because there's no platform. Now, I'm not sure that whistle would scare anybody. You might just hear some rattling. Um, it's the cover over the heater rattling away. So apologies if that's coming out on video. Sometimes the video you can't hear things and other times it just amplifies stuff. Anyway, Ra uh, Ravens Court Park. I'm going to start braking now. Got a 20 mile an hour as we go down the hill. And then I'm sure you know as we go down towards Hammersmith, drops down to 15, all to protect one signal. But we're not going to discuss that too much today. We've done that loads of times. You can just see the flashing yellow lights in the forefoot. That's in the middle of the track to you. And then just ahead of it, you'll see a 20. And I think one thing I've not pointed out before, at the end of a TSR, that's temporary speed restriction, which this one is, You'd have flashing lights and then you would have a T or two T's in the forefoot. So I think I've always just talked about the flashing lights being the start and end of it, but never actually explained there is a T and a speed limit displayed. Now it doesn't have the temporary speed limit doesn't end as such because it then drops down to 15 as a PSR, permanent speed restriction, on the right hand side here. So it doesn't need to end the 20. And then the next one is 25. This is the signal they protect, just here on the right. The next signals on the right hand side, roughly in the, where they are, is a 25 mile an hour limit up on the wall, slightly higher up. Last signal before the platform, Whiskey Delta 9, and into Hammersmith. There's an Arnest Grove train five minutes behind, so that's quite a big gap, bearing in mind how busy it is. Apologies. Here comes a pick line train. Where is it going? Rainer's Lane. We're just waiting for that red to change. There's a district line just outside waiting to come in on the westbound. So that'll either be for Richmond or Ealing Broadway. That's a Richmond train, to be precise, and that's the S stock, so subsurface stock. You have a general message, Hollow Road Station remains closed. Uh, all trains to continue to non stop Hollow Road until further notice. Control 
so Holloway Road station is still closed. The reason they closed Holloway, uh, Holly when I can speak, let me try it again. Holloway Road uh, for football is apparently, and I've not been out, so if you know different, let me know, of the station, it's, it uses lifts and it just can't support mass numbers of people, so they shut it to stop the football traffic using it. That's what I'm told, but if you know different, let me know, but so I've never left the platform. Maybe one day I'll have to do videos on some of these stations. Maybe that's a job for the summer. Baron's Court. You all on? Let's go. Earl's Court is next. The 20 mile an hour limit, as I'm sure you know, as we go into the tunnel or the pipe. Again, I'm not going to go into details of it. We've covered it many a time. You ever get that sinking feeling? I know, I better not give up my day job. So I'm doing about 15 miles an hour. said I'm actually on leave. Well, I've got what are you on Wednesdays, so but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at work, Saturday is my rest day, and then my leave starts on Sunday. Just for a week, uh, heading off to New York. I say that those videos probably be at the same time as this one, or maybe even before, but either way, check them out if they're out or when they come out, depending on how it goes. Uh, railway weeks always start on a Sunday. And we work to 13 months a year. So we have the railway has a period of four weeks and we have 13 a year. It means we get paid 13 times a year as well. So Earl's Court, and like I said, that's where I'm going to leave you. I'm going to switch the camera off, let it cool down. If it is busy, I will put it back on, maybe King's Cross, but we'll see uh, up to Arnas Grove or something, because maybe a little bonus video seeing how busy the football traffic is. But I'll see. Play that by ear. So I'll say now, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. hope the sounds come out OK. I hope you've enjoyed your different seating position in the cab. Um, but it'll be trial and error. If it's not quite right, we'll uh, work on it for the next one. So until next time, again, thank you for watching and take care. Earl's Court. Hello and welcome to the Premier Inn. I'm just going to do the shout outs. Now I'd like to apologise, I am very disorganised. When you ask for a shout out, because I'm, I'm usually at work or somewhere doing something, I tend to take a screenshot. Sometimes I lose the, those screenshots within my photos. But also, just I've just been going through the list now and wrote myself a list of everyone. And I've realised 
I've taken some screenshots of people wanting a shout out that doesn't include their name. So if on this list I have missed your shout out, please just message me again. Um, I need you to come up with a better system. I might set up a um, an email address. You shouldn't just email me and then I can go through the emails and mark them off as I do it. But that's a problem for another day. So shout out. So apologies, I'm just reading this. And again, apologies, I know some of you have been waiting for these. So, uh, so we've got Andrew Magnus. I know he messaged me and I apologise. You've got Jacob Dawson. I missed his birthday. 25th of September, so uh, happy belated birthday. I'm sure you're all, uh, you'll all send your belated birthday messages as well. Now, the next one, I believe it's French. You know I struggle with English, so if I've mispronounced them, I apologise. But I believe it's Amelie and Loic and their dad, Jerome. I'm not even going to try and do it with a French accent, but hello to you. Hello to Jane. Hello to Death Pod. Um who I know has not been too well, so I uh, hope you're making a recovery. We've got Lord Charlie, uh, Simon Harpert, Harpert, Harpertson. God dear, what's wrong with me? I've not even been drinking. Then there's Duncan, who's a retired bus driver, and he used to drive trains down the Bentley Colliery uh, near Doncaster. So hello. Now, there's also someone who's asked me to give him a shout-out, uh, a guy called Dalton Haddix. He has a YouTube channel, and it's called Disability Days with Dalton. Um, I'll try and add a link into the description below, but check him out. So hello to you. Yeah, that's Disability Days with Dalton. Hello to Evie Smith. Hello to Louise the Travel Spotter. Hello to Danny. Hello to Rob. And hello to Arjan. I think that's everyone on my list. So I apologise if you're not on there. Um, I say I'm very disorganised. But I think hopefully that's me up to date with them. So hello to you all. Thank you for watching. Happy birthday. Feel better. And uh, yeah, thank you. Take care until next time.